Jay, the Adobe Apple dust-up is uh, continuing. A blog post by Adobe Flash platform evangelist Lee Brimelow has stirred up the standoff between Apple and Adobe over the inclusion of Flash in Apple's portable devices. He claims that Apple is using app developers as pawns. Pawns, I tell you, in a crusade against Adobe. The post includes, uh, or concludes with this from uh, Brimelow. Go screw yourself, Apple, unquote. As a guy with a sense of humor. He didn't pull any punches on this, that's for sure. That's what a lot of people feel. You know, there was a lot of criticism. What happened to these two companies? Well, when it first came out that the iPad wasn't going to have Flash, this, this started to really heat up. But I was surprised people didn't make more of a big deal out of it. I mean, eight, like something like 80% of the video content online is Flash. Yeah. It's, a, it's an Esperanto kind of uh, format and standard. <laughs> and to, to just turn away from it, is, uh, that's a bold statement. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. It wasn't a surprise, though. I mean, there was already no Flash on the iPhone. Right, right. right. Um, so, I mean, I fully expected that they wouldn't allow Flash on, but on the, the iPad. But the iPad, the iPad makes much more sense as a video watching device than the iPhone does. So, I mean, there is a real slap in the face from my and, perspective. And it has more horsepower. It's, uh, it's inconceivable that to, to produce a, an Internet dev platform device, uh, an appliance, that doesn't support Flash. And yet Jobs did exactly that. And it seems to be making it... This crusade, it looks from the outside like a crusade against what Adobe. Is wrong, what is the deal? What's the background here? Because, you know, you have to... What he says or what the reality is. What's the, what does he say? He, you know, uh, Flash is buggy. It causes most of the crashes on the Macs. And it's um, a CPU hog. He yeah. Says. Yeah. Um, Which it actually, I think it well, is. It's not right? a it is, but it would be a, a CPU hog on. Mm. It wouldn't be a CPU hog on his platform if he gave hooks into his, yeah. into his processor, right? I mean, um, it... <laughs> He's clearly taken a stance here. I'm not sure that he's specifically targeting Flash with this latest SDK change, though. That's different. Uh, you, could, you could debate it e either way. So what? So he doesn't allow iPad, uh, Flash on the iPad. Um, so Flash decides they're going to do a, a, an iPhone iPad packager, so you can take your Flash scripts and convert them into machine code for the iPad and the iPhone. And so days before this is set to go live, he changes the SDK. So you can't do that. So you can't do that. According <laughs> to the language, so you can't have a translation layer where you take um, an application that's coded um, in another language so and let's, translate let's, it. Let's, let's back up a little bit. What is the basis for the feud? This is obviously a feud. Well, who knows what the basis well, Apple, is? Because Apple, but Apple remember, has its Apple own standards. Well, remember, it has its own Yeah, but Apple standards. wouldn't even be Apple today if it wasn't for Adobe, the PostScript printer, and all that stuff that took place. Yeah, they, they have on. been close friends, those companies, for many years. But here's what he wants, okay? And he has sort of semi-acknowledged acknowledged this, supposedly, um, and pointing to a blog post on the web that made this argument. He wants the iPhone to be an exclusive... So the iPad. Huh? The iPhone, iPhone and iPad. iPad. This is the iPod iPhone touch. OS. Right. Okay. Uh, OS, uh, OS we're talking about, which, which will run on the iPhone and on the iPad. It's the same OS. Yeah. Okay. okay? Cool. He wants those to be exclusive Apple platforms. He doesn't want a developer to build an application that can then run on iPad, iPhone, Android, Palm, on down the line. He wants developers spending their time developing for his platform. Right. He doesn't want... Um, you know, a limited set of hooks that go into all these other devices. He wants to control the hooks and have and have developers code to those. And when he has new hooks for you, he wants developers to jump to those. Yeah, he wants the developers to have to make the choice, Apple device or other devices, right. because they have limited time and energy to devote to writing apps. So right. he's saying, yeah, we've got the biggest app store, the most users, right. the coolest stuff. So write for this, and we'll take care of you. Right. But you won't have any time to write for anything else. Sorry. Right. And he can afford to do that because, I mean, even if he makes these draconian decisions, the developers are still going to do everything they can to develop for the platform. Mm -hmm. You know, it may you know, make, them, make them angry in the short term, but they're still going to develop this. Mm -hmm. Now, there are people who are saying that this move to basically put the... Uh, to nail the coffin shut right. on Flash right. is actually good for the web because Flash has not developed nearly as quickly as it would have had it been open, had it had good right. competitors because it's right. a ubiquitous platform. Right. So there are people who are hailing this as actually a positive thing. Right. But it, it, and maybe in the long run I can see that, right. but right now it is, it's forcing developers to make really impossible choices. It's for, forcing website developers to go and recode their host sites just to make it then work right. on the iPad. It's, and he's and really, how, so he's the really question becomes, dirty. how far do you go, right? Yeah. Let's take this to the logical extreme, okay? He doesn't allow a translation layer, okay, that takes an app and translates it for his platform. So 
Um, does that include, say, OpenGL, right? So if, I, if I'm a developer for OpenGL for the platform, <coughs> I'm then translating that into Objective-C for the platform. Does that rule that out? So how many apps does that rule out? What if I dream up an app, right? It's in my head, but it's not in Objective-C, right? Then I start coding. Is that a translation? I mean, does it, does it rule out everything? You know, so where do you draw the line? And as a developer, how do you know what will be allowed and what, what won't? And they can switch gears on you at the drop at of a hat. Any time mm -hmm. they want. So what it comes down to is, is what they're going to allow in, the, in their app store. And you know, the, way, the way it's always worked in the past is it doesn't matter what the SDK says. They can reject you whether they, whether, yeah, whether they've they, done that. the language says they can or not. There's a, there's a little bit at the bottom of the SDK, uh, which I think technically I, I can't talk about because it's under NDA, but it says um, you know, you, um, you know, we reserve the right to reject you whether or not you meet these conditions or not. And you can't talk about it. Right. So you, uh, <coughs> you uh, just got an iPad. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, it has, it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's expensive. It's got a couple of niggles so that you, drive me up the freaking wall. Like what? Uh, or just as, a, as somebody writes on it, it has no arrow keys on the keyboard. Try composing a message without arrow keys. You've got to like, reach over and take your hands off. And there are also reports of like ba that. bad Wi-Fi. I have not had that problem. You have not? Nope. It's been okay for me. So there's lightning to load for you. You got, a, you got the iPod. You can get rid of your laptop. Uh, dude, I've become here. such a tool. So I have the MacBook in my briefcase. Yeah. I got the iPad because I have to carry that because oh, I got it because yeah. it's cool. Maybe. That's it? And I got the iPhone. So I got all three Apple platforms. That, yeah, I'm, I really am. It's embarrassing. What, are you carrying around 10 pounds of gear now all the time? Pretty much, yeah, plus the cameras and, yeah. You're like it's, you're an Apple evangelist. I am an Apple disevangelist. <laughs> Don't do what I've done. It's too much Apple stuff. He has enough of our. I paid for enough of his lug nuts. Well,